sprout to at least join Kaja and all others who are here to witness the presentation of the prestigious award of Integrity Award 2002 to ACP Daniel Isse Armour. Integrity just actually just simply means integral, being true. So if you are a policeman, be a policeman. If you are a lawyer, be a lawyer. If you are a judge, be a judge. Don't be fake. If we're a building, the reason why we are stay under this building, because the building has integrity. It has the strength of material to, to carry us. So what we discussed today is how to bring integrity into all the processes. Even though today we focus on the corruption, and we are, it's a happy day for Nigeria because the Nigerian police has been able to produce an officer who has shown integrity on that test. You don't know you have integrity until there is a test. You don't know you have a good body until there is a disease or infection. Then you see how your body withstands it. So integrity is holding true on that test. That's basically what integrity is. There was a general consensus here that uh, Nigeria is lacking that much needed integrity that is speaking to corruption in this country. What is your impression? What we've discovered is that Nigeria has a good side. Nigeria is like uh, a basket of onions that has the good one inside, but you cover with the rotten one. So when you are passing, you say, I can't buy this rotten basket, but beneath it, there's good onions on that. So what we need to do now is to remove the layer of corrupt people from leadership. And leadership is by, is by example. So there's no way you can have a country if you don't promote uh, the strong ones. This officer today is what we're promoting. It's the principle we're promoting. All these other countries you go to that you find a police working hard, being reliable, protecting the country, they took time to select. Not all their citizens are like that. So what we want to do in every facet of our leadership is to take our time to select the good ones. For example, 200 million people. It can't be so bad. We cannot produce a good man as president. We cannot produce 50 ministers, 36 governors. It can't be that hard. But we are training, we are all the good people. Inside one family alone, you have hundreds of people who are good. But somehow we find a way to eliminate the good ones. And what we want to change now, henceforth, in Nigeria is that we will bring out the good ones. If this man is the IG of police, what do you think police will look like? If you have his staff in DSS, if you have his staff in the State House, if you have his staff as the Chief Justice of Nigeria, they will say Nigeria is a good country. Nigeria is genuinely a good country. And last thing I will say to you is that integrity is the highest resource in the country. Because if you don't have oil, you don't have diamond, you don't have all the minerals, those who have, if you have integrity, they'll bring their money to you. They'll bring their asset to you. So for whatever we have in this country by way of money, integrity is even more valuable. So if we teach that, and integrity is internal to you, anybody can say no, starting with not selling your votes, starting with so many simple things like that, you can say no, to corruption, you can say no to backwardness. So that is what we are celebrating. We've been having bad news all the time. Today, I want to enjoy the good news. That's why I came to say I must see this policeman today, I must shake his hand, and I must buy that faith. So that when people are asking me, this beautiful Nigeria you are painting, who will help you bring it about? I will say, go and see ACP Daniel. It's one of them.